वेलकम टू अवर चैनल व्यूअर्स सो दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ सिक्चोप्लास्टी एंड पाइलोप्लास्टी सीरीज वीडियो सीरीज एंड इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द थ्रेटिकल पार्ट सो इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट गैम्बी स्टिच फॉलोड बाय लाइव डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन फॉर ड्यूरिंग हैंकेमोक्लिस सिक्चोप्लास्टी फॉर ए केस ऑफ क्रोजिव इंजेक्शन विद इसोफेजियल एंड पार्शियल गैस्ट्रिक आउटलेट ऑब्सक्शन so friends uh, this video is available exclusively on our app and in members only section of the youtube so if you want to watch the premium hd quality uh, either you can download our app or join the channel uh, the link for both is available in the description of this video the app is available uh, for android and for apple ios uh, store so you can download and uh, as i said earlier the link is available or you can visit our website to view the different courses and uh, uh, go through the courses these courses are highly informative and designed with the intent of uh, teaching junior trainees and uh, do check those uh, courses on our website or in our app the highlights of uh, this video will be uh, gambi stitch and live surgery demonstration of gambi stitch with hinkemeclus pyloroplasty and uh, the second part of hinkemeclus for a chronic du will be demonstrated in the uh, third part of this video series uh, as this first part we have kept telvitty as a simple case and the second case will be a bit more complicated so let's i mean move step by step from theoretical to simple case and to a complicated case so the quick recap we have already discussed in detail about the finny pyloroplasty the application of hinkey mucleus and uh, uh, its application in pyloroplasty and or small bowel structure has already been discussed jebley procedure was discussed in detail that is site to site gastroendoscopy and michael sc sictoplasty so friends if you have not watched our previous video that is theoretical discussion which is available on our app website and on our youtube channel also so please watch that video then you will have better understanding of these live surgery video after the theoretical understanding this is the most skewed stitch ever design and whenever we have a difficulty or we think that we are not able to oppose the two surfaces properly always use gambi and gambi should be the part of armamentarium of every surgeon and it has basically two parts it is a interrupted closure and it it inverts the mucosa west into the lumen so first is suture is passed from the outside full thickness pass then it is passed back to the mucosa to exit through the submucosal layer on the same side then it is passed from the submucosa to the mucosa on opposite side and final pass is again full thickness you will better understand with the pictorial depiction and during the live surgery so uh, this is the graphic representation of the gambi stitch so uh, friends uh, i mean uh, just consider that the stomach cirrhosis is on the your right side at, at as highlighted here so first pass is that is highlighted in black is uh, through and through stitch the second pass pass is that is the uh, reverse uh, white that include mucosa and part of the submucosa so again uh, we are out so now the third pass that will be on the duodenal side will be from the submucosa to mucosa and fourth pa pass is again full thickness that is highlighted in the red that will be the fourth pass that will come from the mucosa to the cirrhosis so these are four parts and uh, it it basically inverts the mucosa beautifully and there is a beautiful acquisition only a disadvantage i will say it is a bit time consuming but time is i mean never a issue as i already or, or said many times before that whenever you are operating time is never a issue it is the outcome that matters so just remember this uh, configuration and then we will understand the gambi stitch during the live surgery demonstra demonstration during the subsequent part of this video so uh, this was an uh, Uh, this was a patient 41 year male he was a smoker uh, addict marijuana addict alcoholic uh, patient had an uh, accidental ingestion of the crozip and the patient had a esophageal structure low esophageal structure he was on dilatation program and during his previous endoscopic evaluation uh, he was also found to have a uh, pyloric narrowing which was partially negotiable 
he was tolting liquids and so during one of his dilatation he had hydrogenic perforation of the esophagus so patient was shifted to a surgical site we planned for him his pyeloplasty and feeding feeding gynostomy the patient was emaciated with a low bmi of 12 uh, he i mean and uh, there was no systemic findings except for the a very poor nutrition level and the cct abdomen showed a contrast leak uh, which was approximately 3 cm proximal to the gastroesophageal junction with pooling of the contrast in the lower mediastinum and associated lung finding were basal atelectasis and consolidation on the left side post perforation patient had a very strong me course uh, he had fungal sepsis and uh, he was in track frank shock so we optimized the patient started tpn and uh, then uh, we started antibiotics and antifungal that liposomal amputation uh, we was given for 14 days and after optimization patient was taken up for the surgery so uh, this is the live video now uh, we have given a limited midline exploratory uh, laparotomy